Hold on, y'all. It seems dark in here. Does it seem dark in here? Girl, open up your eyes. Hold on, y'all. Um, it's kind of dark because I'm so country. I should wait till I young to hang on camera. It's kind of dark because um, of the weather. This is where the big hurricane girl is supposed to hit New Orleans. Ciao. The news got me all. The news be over exaggerating sometimes on stuff. So, but prayers to those of you who are in New Orleans. By the time I load this up, the storm would have passed by now. But because of what's going on in the south, it is um, overcast here. The weather is a little bit dark, and it, it was kind of sprinkling this morning actually. So I got all nervous because of you know what CNN was reporting, especially since it's this. Girl, I'm sorry. I've had a drink. I'm gonna tell you what it is in a minute. Especially since they started talking about Hurricane Katrina, which tugs at my heart, like I'm sure a lot of you. So um, I started contacting people who yesterday actually I started contacting people who I know that are in New Orleans. I'm like, are you okay? Are you safe? Um, they're like, yeah, girl, it's a category one. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, but you know, water ain't no joke. Ain't no joke. So anyway. Um, apparently y'all like to see me act the plum fool on cam and so I'm back today to do just that. No, we ain't gonna do that. Y'all, I sit up here talking about how I wanna, you know, you know, change the direction of my channel, be a little bit more professional, and I even submitted for a, uh, what is it called, to be an ambassador for a couple of companies. Girl, they're gonna see this and be like, we ain't gonna send you, <laughs> we ain't sending us that stuff so you can act the fool on cam. <laughs> So let me tell you what I'm drinking on. Disclaimer, do not sit up here and think that Miss Jackson drinks every day. Girl, I cannot. I have a job, I have a husband, I have a kid. I have priorities. Drinking is not a priority for me. But when I do, I make sure she's good and she's strong. Um, so uh, I'm drinking a Cosmopolitan, which is my favorite drink, by the way. A Cosmopolitan is basically vodka, cranberry juice. <laughs> and some lemon, if you want. So a vodka, cranberry juice, lemon. I'm a squirt of orange. So this is pomegranate vodka. I'm being a little bougie today. Pomegranate vodka, cranberry juice, a squirt of a lemon, and that's it. So let's just try it. Mmm, yeah, so one drink is it. Is it. So y'all, I would say on average, first of all, of course I drink wine, but I don't drink it as much, especially when I'm trying to watch what I eat. So that's the thing. If you know anything about alcohol, I know there's several of you who don't drink wine. It's not that good for you as far as calories go. Now you know what, I mean, red wine is great for your heart and antioxidants and all of that. But if you're trying to watch what you are eating and calorie intake, so vodka, heart liquor with a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of a juice, not so much. Um, but what am I trying to say? So I guess my whole point is that typically I drink wine probably two to three times out of the week. Um, this is probably, I rarely have heart liquor in the cabinet here. I really rarely have heart liquor. Now JB, my husband left for work just now and JB is at, um, on a play date with one of his friends. Girl, praise God for this. <laughs> Y'all know. know I'm just extra. Um, I'm going to share with you guys my last few bits of product reviews that I have. I'm gonna show you some products. We're gonna jump into, you know, y'all know the madness, what's in these YouTube streets, which really isn't a lot. I do have a mini story time that deals with some stuff that recently happened, but I already have a story time on this that I will be linking in the cards. But y'all, y'all know I'm a mess. Disclaimer, please do not take me serious when I take say some stuff. I know, you know, I'm very lighthearted, y'all. I am, I'm silly. Um, I'm kidding a lot of the time, so I don't want people to come off thinking that I'm being rude or abrasive. I just want to explain that because I feel like I feel like you guys get that about me, but one or two you may be like, she out of her damn mind. That too, that could be it, but <laughs> all right, y'all. So let me jump right into it. So we got Kiara Botanicals in <laughs> Cryo. It's, it's, it's either Cryo or Cryo. I think it's pronounced Cryo. Cryo Botanicals, I ordered four products from her line. I am super, super excited to try these products. Now, she has uh, products for low porosity and high porosity, which I really do appreciate that, okay? So first up, we have her leave-in conditioner, protein-free. Amen. 
with veggies and herbs, provides hydration and moisture, pH of 4.5. The zoom is kind of, there we go. I'm not gonna open up any of this stuff. I'm just showing you real quick what I got, okay? We have the mango twist and braid, provides hold and definition. Just real quick, you guys, I'm not gonna really show anything. A clarifying shampoo bar that is low porosity. And lastly, we have the low porosity deep conditioner, protein free. Super excited to try these, all right? Um, then we, we will be having a wash stick with ORS. I have a couple of things here. We have a, um, what is this? Okay, a leave-in hair lotion. Again, just real quick. Creamy aloe shampoo, the hair mayonnaise. Now, I've tried this already, love it. And yeah, official video for those coming up. Sorry, y'all. VO5's Detox Weightless Conditioner. This has been on the back burner for a while, but let me tell you something. I had a little bit of an issue with my hair last week, which is why I'm taking a mini break. Y'all won't notice it because I have so many videos already scheduled. But for my hair, I've taken like a two week break. I don't know what was going on. But in between that, I decided to use the VO5's Detox Hair and Scalp. I, let me tell you something. I use this much as love. I, when I tell you I use 25 cents, you know how they all, I always tell you use 25 cents or a dime piece. You're like, girl, that's not enough. It was enough, more than enough. I got all of my hair cleansed with 25 cents worth of product. That's coming up. I am ordering the Mish products this week. And then I will be ordering um, some products from She Sent It in a couple more weeks. So what I need to do is I had a doctor's appointment today and real quick I put my hair in like a style because I didn't have any much time. So what I need to do now is put my hair back in twists, which shouldn't take much effort at all. And um, we're just gonna put it back in a bun until wash day. I'm not doing my hair. So I will be using Oldie But Goodie Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Leave-In. Now I know this doesn't work for everyone, but I, I like it, I love it actually. I do have um, a video review in this, and I actually have a video where I did a comparison between the buttercream and this one, okay? I'll be linking that below. All right, y'all. So anyway, y'all, um, haven't really, I've been looking at mu music videos on YouTube. I don't know, I act like I'm 18 years old. Haven't really been looking at anybody in particular um, a lot of folks are taking a break or, sorry y'all, or, you know, they don't have any new content out. I mean, what the hell is up? What are y'all doing? I'm about to jump into some of y'all um, uh, inboxes and be like, uh, ma'am, what are you doing? We have not heard from you in a while. Y'all, see, this is why I need to give my hair a rest. It's very dry at the root. Hmm. I need to do a hot oil treatment. So, Y'all, I had to admit to something to my husband today. Well, first of all, let, let, let me just say this. Let me back up. My mom sent me a text message earlier this week and she's like, I found out that so-and-so passed away from lung cancer in 2017. And I was like, oh, and this was um, one of her boyfriends. Well, now my, my parents are re back married. They remarried each other, y'all. If you don't know, now you know. My parents got married, got a divorce, and then they remarried each other. She dated in between there, and she dated um, this man who apparently just passed away of lung cancer. He didn't just pass away. She just found out that he passed away of lung cancer back in 2017. Oh, y'all forget it. Girl, what does that have to do with me? Because this was the boyfriend that I was talking about in my one story time video I did a couple of years ago of him falling off the balcony. Now, oh, okay, so hold on. Y'all know I'm crazy, y'all know I'm silly. So, I was letting my husband know. First of all, let me back up. I admitted to my mama something about that incident, and I'm gonna link the story, the story in one of these cards, okay? And my mama, she said, my mama's a cool person, right? So she was like, you crazy. So I was telling my husband, I said, um, look, my mama's uh, one of her old boyfriends. I found out this week that he passed away from cancer. And this is the one who I knew he had fallen off the balcony. And I didn't say anything. <laughs> Y'all, he was looking at me. He, he was looking at me kind of confused. I said, oh, you didn't know? <laughs> like, 
He, he didn't say anything, because I told you, he, he an extreme introvert. He's probably thinking of some crazy shit in his head while simultaneously judge me. That's all right, you know, that's okay. So I said, oh, you didn't know? So what happened was, he had, the, the patio door had locked. And unfortunately, it's one of those patio doors where it could only be unlocked from the outside and not from the inside. I know it's crazy. He had one of those double door locks or something, right? So this man in his mid forties decided to go up the, first of all, he had the, on those old school, I don't remember why I said this in the, in the story time. He had on those old school slippers that they sell at Walmart. Y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. You, you they, wear them, they wear them in the hood and in the country. Those old school black, you know, fluffy slippers, right? He wore those all the time in, inside the house. So, he was a smoker. He decided to climb up around the patio and unlock the door. Ciao! And he fell. So my husband's looking at me like he's like, okay. I said, but so this is the thing. I knew he was down there. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, Jimmy, I'm so sorry, honey. Wherever you are, bless you. Please forgive me. I was so petty, though. So I was telling my, my husband's looking at me, y'all, and I'm trying to justify myself, right? I said, but you don't understand. It was Easter. My mama had cooked. I, I need to fix my plate. So I knew he was down there. And so a good 10 minutes in fixing my plate, I sat down. Oh, Lord, y'all, now I feel bad. So I tell my mama, first I have to play it off. I'm like, oh, my God, Jimmy fell off the balcony. <laughs> Well, I tell you, they went running downstairs, and this is the thing, poor man had, like I said in the story time, he had broke both his legs. He's in his mid 40s, he ain't no young buck anymore. He had broke both legs. And child, those slippers, <laughs> those slippers were off his feet. Sprint girl, my sister and mama ran down there, my fluffy ass just kept eating. And so my husband's just looking at me like, <laughs> My husband was just staring at me. I said, but you look. I said, so wait a minute. So, are you judging me right now? This is me talking to my husband. I'm like, so, you know, I'm, and I'm not going to talk ill will about the man. You know, I said some things in the story time, but I'm a firm believer that the dead cannot defend themselves. So, it's, it's tacky to talk about that. I'm laughing about this situation, but I don't want to talk about his character. So, I'm not going to say those things that were mentioned in the story time. But like I said, linking it below. So, I told my husband these things. And he's like, but you could have said something while you were fixing your plate. He said, you could have said, you know, you could have said something, you know, as soon as you saw them, saw him, you could have told your mama. I said, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about this uh, four layer coconut cake and this chicken and dressing. He just shook his head. I said, so what do you think? Do you, are you, you judging me right now? He said, no, if that's what they do in the hood. And I said, no, that's not what they do in the hood. <laughs> Lord, so bless your heart, Jimmy. Rest in peace. Oh, yeah, I got a, I got a kick out of that. I could not stop laughing. I'm like, hey, I, I thought he knew that. I thought he knew that, that story. I admit it. I admit it to my mama while we were on a trip in Las Vegas. I said, mama, just to let you know, you know, if you see the story time, let you, to let you know, that time that Jimmy fell off the balcony, I knew he was down there for a while. And I just didn't tell you because I need to get my food. I need to get my food. Yeah, she just looked at me and she said, mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, whew. I think next week I'm going to take my baby to our drive-in. Yeah, I remember drive-in theaters. And now they're different. Apparently, you can get the music through, not the music, you can get the audio through your stereo system, your radio system of your vehicle. I guess almost like a Bluetooth type of thing, or maybe you tune into our station, I'm not sure. <clears throat> the only thing is that the movies start very late, like 8 o'clock. But we have two or three here in the valley and then we have one in glendale so one night i told jb i said we can pick up some you know some food and drive down to them to the um dine-in excuse me the drive-in and watch a movie that'll be nice i think that'll be nice um so y'all what i'm watching on tv so i am watching a new sci-fi show on um, netflix called the oa this stuff is weird as hell. It is, I, I, I don't know what to make of it. It's, I don't care for shows that, well I do, I do to a certain degree. It, it 
flip-flops I, I shouldn't say that it goes into different time periods so you're hearing the story um it's all in first person from someone who's i don't know in their 20s and then you're getting it from when they're seven years old and so you got to really pay attention you got to be sober too apparently you got to really pay attention to this type of story so that you don't get confused so so far I'm on, I'm on season one only on episode two so far i like it i really do hold on y'all i think someone's outside so um <clears throat> yeah it's okay started to watch black spot french base creepy as hell i like it but creepy i can't really get into that you know too much right now but it's okay um girl you want to talk about is anyone watching love at the lockup child when i tell you first of all i always knew and love okay so love after lockups to let you know love up after lockup is a series i can't i don't remember what channel is on is it on annie you guys it's not on annie oxygen i'm not sure what network is on because i honestly watch it on youtube okay so they're on season is it season three and um, they have these lists of characters. These people meet, of course, while they're in prison. And so a lot of them, get, they get married while they're in prison. And then I just don't understand why people assume that the person, th these people that they meet are going to be the same person outside of prison. They don't have any rules. They don't have, they're not, they're not confined to the boundary and rules in prison as they are on the outside life. So if you have someone who's been in prison, I'm not even going to give a time period because a day to them may feel like one day could feel like a hundred days. So God forbid they've been in prison more than five years, some of them eight, 10 years, they've been, they've been what institutionalized and now they have all this newfound freedom. You're, you're wanting them to be the person who fell in love with them on the outside wants them all to themselves. Girl, please, male or female, they're gonna be running around in the streets, going back to the people, because they miss all of that. I mean, in a way, I can't blame them. They miss all of that for years, and so they wanna be around their friends. They don't wanna sit at home with you, looking at crock pot recipes and shit. No, they wanna be out in the streets with their friends, like I said, male or female. So, child, I'm on, I'm on episode two. And when I tell you, I'm like, you know what? I be telling my husband, I said, I need for you to come through for me like Clint comes through with <laughs> Clint is one of the characters. He is, um, I think, yeah, he's married to one of the characters named Teresa. Is it Teresa? They are a mess. But who is really a mess? They all are a mess. They all are a mess. But the one couple, actually a triplet couple, Megan, y'all know who I'm talking about, Megan, Michael, and Sarah. So Michael is this younger black kid and he's a kid cause he can't be no more than 23, 25. So he is married to a younger um, Caucasian girl. She's like 22, 23, right? While he's in prison, he falls in love with this sister named Megan. Now is she from Houston y'all? I feel like she's from Texas old country ass. I think she's from, <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but I think she's from Texas. So anyway, he meets her while in prison, right? So on, on season one of the show, she meets up with him, um, she drives him around. He missed his probation, his probation appointment, whatever, because of the side chick. She's a side chick is what she is. Y'all, apparently his wife gets pregnant. Now when she said she was pregnant, I was like, you a dang on I ain't nobody getting pregnant fast, but keep in mind, she's only 22, 23, her ass is fertile. And she fluffy, she fertile and fluffy. So yeah, she got pregnant right away. She's uh, still pregnant, about to go through a C-section on this season, right? So Megan meets, okay, why am I telling y'all all of that? I'm not gonna tell you, in case you wanna watch, I'm not gonna say much. So it's just a mess, y'all, it's just a mess. and. Especially when I see that it's a lot of women that are doing this seeking love and be like I just want to shake some of these women and be like do you not know your self-worth like nobody is really busted I mean oh besides oh girl besides the one that Clint's with Oh, yeah, but she's on drugs. She's definitely on meth um, But Megan is not a bad looking girl, you know that wig she had on last season that shake and go features was a mess, but um You know, she's not a bad looking girl. So 
it is just crazy absolutely crazy i don't know what makes these people think make these people think that the person that you fell in love with is going to be the same person on the outside no they've been because they've been in the system most of them went in back going back to jail most of them went back the first season or whatever season they're on season two i think i don't know girl so yeah watching that haven't really been watching anything still watching the 100 Whew, i don't know about this season y'all i'm just not feeling it i need a plate to come in and wipe the entire staff out or cast not really feeling that. There's some some stuff that I kind of want to watch or get into, but yeah. Is that gray hair? No. Okay, y'all, this is the last bit. See, that didn't take time at all. And I probably need to go all the way down to the end with this. Okay. So y'all, look, um, I want to talk about something. Y'all let me know what you think. Like I said, I'm in a couple of Facebook groups and I am a lurker. I'm a huge lurker. I will sit back on the back line looking at comments, judging away. I don't necessarily judge people. I'm just looking, you know. So every now and then, I do see posts from people wanting to hang out and, you know, meet up with folks and all this. Y'all, I just feel like, feel like nowadays it's really hard to find authentic people who don't really have any, and maybe I have trust issues and because I'm an introvert, I don't know. It could be a combination of things, but it's really hard to make friends. I, I find that. Now, I, want, I don't want to necessarily say make friends because you can meet up with anybody, but to meet up with another person, regardless of sex and have likeness, have things that are in common, and for it to not go to, go to hell. You know what I mean? I just find that it's very, it's harder down to do that. You almost have to work it out. I don't want to work it out. My, my friend quota has been met, okay? Unless you come into the table with something magical, I'm good on the friends. So I have my, my friends, people who I really consider my friends are very low. You know what I mean? I have associates, I have acquaintances. That's a big word. Um, you know what I mean, y'all? I have people that I put in categories for me myself. I know a lot of people do this. And so, who I consider true friends, I can count on my fingers. And I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly fine. Now, oftentimes, I'll get people who, because I am, I'm a very nice person. <laughs> no, I know it's kind of, kind of cocky, but I think that I'm, I'm a very nice person and, um, I will break my back for the people I love. I'm a Leo. I'm loyal. Um, a lot of people tell me things that they may not tell others because I can keep a secret. Oh, girl, tell me your secrets. I will keep your secret, mama. And I'm really good at reading someone. And I am good. Look, this is a Leo for you. I will cut you off and have no problems never talking to someone again. Like, I could be friends with you. And I know some people are like, wow. Because if once you've done me, done me wrong and once I see something about you that I don't like, I, I completely chop you off. And I have someone that I had to do that to last month. And they noticed it. Uh, they wanted to know what they did, what happened. And I'm like, no, no, block delete and i've known this person for over 10 years yeah so i'm like i can't i i'm like that i can do that so um what's the point girl but yeah i just find that it's really hard to i feel like if you have to work at it you shouldn't have to work at it. you know what i mean something should come naturally you shouldn't have to really work at it and i i found that the few friends that i have made and the relationships I value those relationships, you know, over having fake and phony relationships with 20, 30 people. You know what I mean? I would rather value one to two great relationships with my one or two friends over 10 to 15 friend, people who claim to be my friends um, and they're not there for you. I, that is it. Now I'm rambling. My hair is done. So yeah, so with my hair like this, I can wear my hair in all types of styles. Um, Y'all seen me do my hair in twisted styles before, but protective styles are endless. But my go-to is just to pull my hair over like this child, twist it up like this. I don't worry about no edges or nothing. Bobby pin it all up like that, and then put this back in the low bun. That's my go-to. 
that is it and i could wear that secure it really good two to three days take it down moisturize do something else for a while i was pulling it all over like this and just let, letting it hang down sometimes you know what i mean so um but let me fix this <laughs> So that is it, everyone. My drink is done. So we are done. <laughs> so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.